how to succeed in business, or with brunettes, or blondes. They're all important missions, wouldn't you agree? Well, here's one way to tackle the brunette problem. See what you think. First of all, be late. That'll show her you're a busy, important person, that you're not too interested in her. Play hard to get. After all, you're worth waiting for. This will make a great first impression. Then, laugh it off. Apologize? Oh, come on, don't be a square. Okay, now the topper. Show her what a sense of humor you have by holding her coat just a little bit too high. That's right. Next, be masterful, protective. Grasp her arm firmly and steer her down those steps to the car. She can see that you're the aggressive masculine type. What are you doing? Opening the door? You'll spoil your image. Oh, that's better. Sure, treat her as an equal. Women like that. Besides, if you're late, there's no sense wasting time on things she can do for herself. Let's face it, sometimes there's just not enough time for good manners. Right? Doors afford a continued supply of chances to make an impression on your companion. Don't pass one up. It's always good for a laugh and an opportunity to show off your leadership qualities. How? By leading the way, going first, naturally. That's the boy. Keep leading the way. Good naval officers always lead their men, or their women in this case. When you get to your table, sit down immediately. Shows you're relaxed. Help with her coat. Well, you helped her on with it. Besides, it's her coat. She should have checked it anyway. Oh, yes. Make sure you're seated so you can see what's going on, too. Makes for a much more interesting evening. Now, here's perfect opportunity to demonstrate your independence. Remain seated. After all, it's not during working hours, and you are doing him a favor by presenting your date to him. On the other hand, she should be impressed by meeting a senior officer. Hmm, no question about it. This young lady will be grateful for such a lovely evening with a charming person like you. That's one approach to the problem of how to succeed with brunettes. Suppose we consider another way and see what you think. How about starting by being on time? Not just for a date, but for any social engagement or business appointment. This indicates you are a dependable, business-like person, that the appointment means something to you. And let's face it, a good-looking girl isn't going to wait around too long for anybody. Too many young men on the prowl. Make it easy for her to slip into her coat. Hold it at the right height. That's being thoughtful. Watch the hair. If you muss it, you're going to lose points. No, you don't grab her arm. You offer assistance. If she needs it or wants it, she'll take your hand or perhaps your arm. But once the need for assistance is passed, she'll give it back to you. So don't be surprised. Yes, doors do offer an excellent chance to make a good impression. It's a way to show your respect for ladies, or your seniors for that matter. Thoughtfulness, making things easier for someone else. This is at the heart of good manners, and in the heart of every gentleman. Besides, it's the way to succeed with brunettes. Ladies first. It's an old saying, but a good one 90% of the time. Of course, if you're entering a restaurant or something comparable and there's no maitre d' or hostess to lead you to a table, then you would lead the way and select a table. She'll expect you to help her off with her coat and arrange it over the back of her chair so it's not all over the floor. No, she shouldn't have checked it. It is common practice for a lady to wear her coat to the table. Although if she indicates a preference for checking it, that's fine too. There, she has an excellent view of the room. Good thinking. You want her to have a good time, 
and being able to see what's going on will be half of the fun. If you have a visitor, and you probably will when you have a companion like that, stand to show your respect for a senior or a lady. This isn't just military etiquette, it's being a gentleman. And you present a man, even if it's the admiral himself, to a lady. Respect again. It's his pleasure to meet her. In this case, there isn't much doubt about it. Check the menu with your date. And if you have any knowledge about the specialties of the house or know particularly good dishes, let her in on it. But once you have both decided, you do the ordering. Well, that's another approach to how to succeed with brunettes. Looks like a winner, wouldn't you say? Let's take another typical situation, going to the theater. You know, there seems to be something wrong here. Ah, that's it. He's walking on the wrong side. Wonder what his next move will be. A taxi. That means a door. And that means... Yes, sir, this fellow's a born leader. One thing you can say, he's consistent, isn't he? Uh, wait a minute. What's happening here? The girl out first? Well, I guess he boxed himself in by getting into the taxi first. Oh, too bad, but he'll make it up. That's right, pick the seats you want. Oh, pardon me, sir. Sorry about that. Now, to settle down and enjoy the movie. Nothing like a little snack to add to the fun and your neighbors will love you. What do you say we go through this situation again? The right way, the way that's successful with brunettes. That's more like it. You walk on the curb side at all times, or on her left. And when you part company or meet a lady, a salute is the proper greeting or farewell. It's the same thing as tipping your hat when you're in civilian clothes. Believe me, the brunette is impressed. That's right, ladies first. It's a good rule most of the time, and logical if you consider that the reason is to make things easier for the lady. Now, here's one of those situations where the lady doesn't go first. The reason you go first is to make things easier for her, to open the door and assist her in getting out of the automobile. It makes sense just as most gentlemanly traditions do. Right. It's her decision on where to sit, not yours. If you want to make a good impression, be considerate of the other person. Adjust your preferences to hers. And if you feel you must nibble on something during the show, at least do it quietly, out of consideration for your neighbors. Well, you're squared away on how to succeed in restaurants and theaters. Let's take another situation. A small gathering in a home or officer's club. Uh-oh, I have a feeling we're going to see anything but the right way to do things. Anyway, the necessity for making and acknowledging introductions occurs frequently. It should be done correctly, but I wouldn't bet on it in this case. Mrs. Rohr, I'd like you to meet Mary Jackson and Midshipman Williams. Perfect introduction, man presented to lady. Looks as though he's going to wring her hand off, doesn't it? And who knows whether she wanted to shake hands or not. Of course, she had no choice. His hand was out quicker than a waiter's in a nightclub. Yes, oh, hello there. I'd like for these good-looking women to meet you. Mary, this is Mr. Pren. Mr. Pren, this is Mary. How do you do, Mr. Pren? Good evening, Mary. What? Oh, uh, Mrs. Childs, Mrs. Rohr, I'd like to have you shake hands with the commander. Mrs. Childs, Mrs. Rohr. Uh, it's almost unbelievable, isn't it? This young man puts bad manners back to back. First, he calls a senior officer mister instead of by his rank. He still doesn't get on his feet, and he presents the ladies to the commander instead of vice versa. And I do believe he was going to ignore the two ladies completely if it hadn't been for the commander. Well, we'd better run through the whole thing again, the right way. 
Because you do want to be successful with those brunettes, right? We have three children. Three children? Mm -hmm. oh, how old are they? Twenty-two, nineteen. Excuse me. Mrs. Rohr. Hello. I'd like you to meet Mary Jackson and Midshipman Brown. How do you do, Mary? How do you do, Mrs. Rohr? How do you do? How do, you do? Jack is in your husband's battalion. Oh, another oh, no. oh, good evening, Commander. Good evening. Mrs. Childs, Mrs. Rohrs, Miss Jackson, this is Commander Prenn. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I believe he was aboard the Constellation when your husband was, Mrs. Child. That's how you succeed in being a gentleman and impress brunettes. Wait until a lady offers her hand. Then shake it briefly, firm but not crushing. You get on your feet for a lady or your senior in rank or age. As a matter of fact, it's good manners to acknowledge an introduction to anybody by rising. Perfect. The senior officer addressed by his rank. You're on your feet, and the man is presented to the ladies. A good way to remember this is to mention the names of the ladies or senior officers first in the introduction. In the case of introducing one person to a group, just follow a simple practice. The single person is introduced to the group. If this group had been larger, you would have said, this is Commander Prenn then ticked off the names of each member of the group. Ms. Heffern, Mrs. Kaufman, may I present Ms. Heffern? Ms. Heffern, how nice so to have you with us tonight. How are you this evening? All right, let's consider a more formal situation, the receiving line. It looks as though we're going to get a lesson in how not to succeed in being a gentleman. Let's see how it goes. Hi, I'm Charlie Williams. How are you doing? Mrs. Kaufman, may I present Midshipman Williams? Mrs. Kaufman, really a nice party. Glad you invited us. Midshipman Williams. Oh, hello there, Admiral. How are you? Nice party. Mrs. Kaufman, nice to see you. Jack. I'll say, weren't you on the Salem, if my memory serves me correctly, during the Korean War? Dear the hell Mrs. Jackson. He's making points with the Admiral, though. But what about the girl? He went through the line without even thinking about her. She may as well have come alone. I wouldn't give him much hope for any success with her. Other than that, what do you think about the rest of his behavior? More important still, how do you think those people feel? Let's take this situation again, the right way. You'll note that the young lady does not hold your arm. That is correct. And you walk on her left. As you near the line, allow her to move ahead. No handshaking with the aide or escort. However, the first person in line may be the host or hostess at times. So if the hand is offered, take it, of course. That's a very simple rule. Just wait until the other person offers to shake hands. Miss Jackson. Mrs. Kaufman, may I present Miss Jackson? Miss <laughs> Jackson. Good evening. Nice to have Ms. you with us tonight. Very Jackson. nice to see you, Miss Jackson. Miss Shipman Brown. Have a good time. Miss Shipman Brown. This is the way to go through a receiving line. If an aide or dance chairman or some similar person heads up the line, you do not shake hands. Further, as in all handshaking situations, you wait for ladies and seniors to extend their hands before you shake hands. Your date precedes you in the line. As usual, it's ladies first. And you move through the line quickly with no stops for conversation. This just isn't the time or the place to be talkative. Your remarks may be, how do you do, sir? Good evening, Admiral, or similar brief, courteous comments. After the line? Well, let's take a look. Here's a beautiful way to succeed with brunettes at a dance, at a party, wherever you may go. Leave her to shift for herself occasionally. She'll appreciate you all the more when you do return. <laughs> sure she will. When you are with her, be affectionate. Show her and the other people present just how much you care for her. She'll love it, if she happens to be an exhibitionist. And for goodness sake, don't let anything or anybody spoil your fun. Don't get stuck being a nursemaid for somebody else's date. Let him worry about her. A good way to make an impression is to hold your partner tightly while moving all over the dance floor. She'll love it. Want to dance all night with you? Shall we rest for a while? I feel as though I'm coming down with a cold or something. Maybe you could take me home. And then there's the right way to do things. Make sure your date has a good time, meets and dances with your friends. At other times, your place is with her. 
be considerate. That's your main obligation. And if another young lady is left alone for some reason, stand by until her escort appears. Consideration for others, kindness. This is being a gentleman. Hmm, dancing. This is good duty, no question about that. Enjoy it, but be in good taste. Show respect for your date and her reputation, and she will respect you. Success with brunettes, or blondes, or just about anybody, is built upon respect. And being a gentleman is to command respect. How to succeed with brunettes? Be a gentleman. <laughs>